Mike, about 51 hours to the deadline to have your 53 in. How the shape of this roster, you ex how easy are some of these cuts going to be, and how tough might a couple of them be in a couple positions? Well, I would say it's probably never easy. You know, we put a lot of time in together um, with with the players that are here, uh, so I would never say that it's easy to have to move on from from a player or anybody. Um, you know, we, I think we demand a lot of them. I think they give us a lot, and so um, we'll, we'll try to you know treat everybody with respect and understand that we know that they all can't be here. Uh, we'll try to put together a practice squad and. You know, I think it'll all be pretty fluid. There'll be guys that, you know, maybe we potentially claim from from somewhere else, and, you know, then we'll put a practice squad together. In, in, in claiming guys, is it you have a list of, guys, you know, positions that you look for depth and, and, and do it, or is it more as guys are coming on the wire, doing it on the fly, having to be ready to pick up guys as, as you see them? I would say that we probably identify guys uh, after watching, you know, some of the – the preseason games, uh, saying, hey, potentially this would be somebody that we would, you know, may have interest in if, if they were available. Uh -huh. John and his staff go through all that. Um, we meet about it, we talk about it, and then, you know, if they do, then there's a long, you know, claiming order. If, you know, chances are if we are interested in them, maybe somebody else is, but, you know, go through that claiming process and, and see where it all shakes out. Yesterday about or the other day about guys uh, operating <coughs> off cards for scout team for, for for your number two quarterback or the quarterback that's that's doing that job how much how much of a factor in keeping that guy is what he can do for your defense uh, as far as our backup quarterback yeah. I mean I don't think that that's um, no I mean I think that any of our backup players want to be ready to be able to to go in a game and 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 help us win. Uh, I think that's a process of, you know, most of the time that's where they get their reps is during that, that period once we're into the season. And we want them to play quarterback. We want them to operate as they were, you know, that that was their offense. So we try to make it, like I mentioned, as similar uh, verbiage and terminology and read this and, and do that, you know, sometimes back in the day used to, Defensive coaches would circle where they wanted the ball thrown, and you know, guys would be like, "Man, I can't." There's like three guys covering. I can't throw the ball over there, and so it's just gotten to be like, just throw it to the guy that's open, and and let it let them all complain. And so I think that makes everybody better. That the quarterback can can work the operation, uh, the defense can see the play run as well as possible. So I, to answer your question, I don't think that that's like the first thing we look at is well how well that he can run a show team. Like, that's not – they're going to get their reps throughout the season um, in doing that, you know, primarily. How you approach the first part of this week with, with some unsettled <clears throat> things at the, on the roster to try to just keep moving forward? Uh, I mean, we just try to stay as flexible as possible, like always. We just try to make sure and find out who's available to us uh, with practice, what we need to try to get done. Um, Try to get four really good days in and then let the guys have a couple days off, let the coaches um, get away from here for a few days and then and then get ready for, you know, to buckle up and, and go on this ride. We can't be in over and Malik Willis obviously still going to be here. How do you facilitate like his continued development, being as though there's going to be so much focus on, on game, game planning? Well, I would imagine he'd have a large role in uh, whatever show team uh, that we're that we're doing, and we'll continue to have a lot of drills for him, a lot of a lot of guys that throw the football too. So, um, you know, it's not going to. You know, he's going to. Everybody's that here is still going to practice. Make uh, Dylan potentially a better guard than tackle. Uh, we're just trying to make sure guys are ready to go where we need them in the season. Uh, I thought he did some good things in there, and. Um, it wasn't wasn't perfect, but there was some good blocks, and you know I think you know we had a couple holding penalties. He was one of them, and those are those are tough when the quarterback's scrambling and you don't know where where he's at, and give a guy a tug at the last second as the quarterback's going by. So I think all in all, he was he was into it. Um, you know, there'll be some corrections that that has to be made, but um, you know I, I thought that he did a nice job.
He has talked about feeling more comfortable on the left side of the line than the right side of the line. Do you see that in him? Uh, I think that you know everybody should you know have some flexibility. I think that you know there's there's probably some personal comfort. I mean, I don't. I haven't had that conversation with him. I'm just trying to get guys ready and, and put them in the best spot. And he played some on the left, played some on the right. I didn't notice last night that there was a, a big difference in, in how he played um, from, from either side. You're practicing Tuesday, and how's that work with the timing of cuts? Uh, we'll plan on practicing Tuesday, yeah. And they'll, yeah, we'll let, we'll let everybody know when we, we make some decisions on the roster. Um, whether we do some on Monday, some on Tuesday, it's got to be in by, you know, three o'clock on Tuesday. But yeah, we'll practice. Your opinion: Can a game like last night for Burks add to his, you know, confidence a little bit as he gets ready for the regular season? Well, as far as confidence, I think you'd have to ask Traylon. But it was certainly um, really good for us to see and for our team to see and our coaches to see. Um, him, him play, have some good play speed, um, and in his willingness to block, you know, when he was in there and, and do his job. So, um, those are all positive things. As far as confidence goes, I think that would be a, a, an excellent question for him. But from the, the from the coaching standpoint, those, those were all, you know, really good things to see. How did we go do after just getting here a couple of days earlier? Yeah. You could just tell that he's played in there, Jimmy. He, he's played nickel. Um, you know, they kind of have a particular skill set. They usually, from team to team, it's all about the same stuff is what they're seeing and doing. I uh, blitzed and, and batted, uh, you know, had a good ball disruption. I thought he tackled. I thought he tried to come in and, and support, had some nice things in coverage. You know, and then there was some separation uh, at times in, in some man coverage when the, when the you know, route got to the other side, which sometimes happens. And um, so, yeah, for just getting here, you know, I think he was into it, had some good gunner reps, um, you know, and did a nice job. You had mentioned, uh, actually, you lit up at the mention of Joe Jones and him at Hustle Play yesterday. What has he done throughout camp just to kind of not solidify, but give himself a good case? Well, he's the... been out there every day. He's uh, been a leader on special teams. Uh, he tried to improve at linebacker. Yeah. I think his leadership to some of the younger guys on special teams has been really good to see. He's played a lot of special teams in, in his career. So, um, you know, we weren't very active on the kickoff uh, units last night on either side, but uh, what was asked of him on special teams, he did a good job. And then, you know, obviously the hustle play that showed up on defense. Mike, have you seen enough uh, to make a decision on your backup quarterback uh, in regards to Malik? Uh, you know, I think we'll get to the roster probably later in the week, Teresa. But I, I appreciate the the quarterback play that we got from both guys last night. You know, Malik did some things that were really encouraging that we had talked about. You know, his ability to step up into the pocket, kept his eyes downfield at times. Um, also, was able to to have some explosive gains running, which is exactly what we talked about. Um, the operation was better. Uh, but, you know, then there's some things we have to improve. And then you know, we had two two-minute drives that we scored on, one with Malik, and then Logan came in and, you know, had a great drive and, and you know, did a nice job and helped us score a touchdown there late. What's your best spin on uh, McKenzie, uh, Jalen McKenzie? Have you seen some, some progress from him? During well, I think there's been progress, and then I think there's sometimes there's inconsistencies. And, you know, I think that that's a position that you have to try to, String as many plays together as possible that are positive and not, you know, had a penalty and then we'll do something well and then you know maybe you know have a have a negative play. So just still looking for more consistency uh, from from Jalen and, and most of those guys at that unit. How do you feel about the, the overall offensive line depth behind maybe your top six? Well, I mean, I think hopefully we can get. Um, you know, Nate back working this week, Jamarco back working. Uh, see where, where Dylan fits in. I thought, you know, Roos has had a good camp. I think X has had a good camp. And most of those other guys that, that are working still have improved. And so we have got decisions to make. We'll have, we'll keep a number of guys on the 53, and then we'll also have some practice squad guys that we feel like we can develop. What has uh, Anini 
showed you just another pretty disruptive day, getting his hand on the football a couple times. Feels like he's been pretty consistent with making plays and getting home to the quarterback during some of the game action he's gotten. Yeah, David's gotten better. I mean, I think that obviously the ball production, you know, being able to tip some passes, you know, is, is something that's critical and, you know, rush in. And I, I think that, that him and Weave are, you know, both two guys that have gotten better um, and, and have been around the football and, and rushing. And, you know, they, they also had some mistakes. You know, they, they got to continue to understand the concept of the defense and, you know, whether that's being outside away from the pressure. We've had that a couple of times where, you know, we're pressuring from one side and he's got to contain on the other and maybe he forgets to remember to do that. You know, those are some things that, you know, we'd like to see fixed. And, um, but as far as, you know, what they were asked to do last night, they continued to, to do well. When you add DBs during camp the way you did with several guys, how, how much more difficult does that make the evaluation when, you know, it, it, there's not a lot of time for them to get up to speed? No, there's not. And I think that that's, you have to evaluate what you've been able to teach them how quickly they learn it, um, how they're able to process things in the game. Or do, do they not panic? Uh, can they take coaching quickly and how do they adjust during the game? And then uh, kind of see where you feel like they may be able to, you know, fit in on defense or, or really for DBs in the kicking game. You know, what can some of these guys do that aren't um, at the top? What can they do to help you in the kicking game?